What's up, y'all? This is the G-flat concert scale video for uh, concert pitch instruments. So that would be uh, flute, oboe, bassoon, all the low brassers, and percussion. If you are not one of those instruments, you're watching the wrong video. Go away. All right, let's get her going. So first, this is, like I said, key of G-flat concert. And so when we say G-flat concert, your first note, we'll go down here to this set of boxes, write some note names. Your first note is G-flat because you're a concert pitch instrument. Okay, so we've got our first note. Now we're going to write letter names in alphabetical order through these boxes. So since there's no H after G, we start over at A. B, C, D. Okay, right, until we get back to the letter we started with. So there's our letter names. Now we gotta figure out how many flats or sharps are we talking. So we go back up here to the circle of fourths and we do, uh, we figure out right at the top here, this is zero flats, zero sharps at the top of the circle. And then we go, you can see this right here, it says add flats as we go this direction. So here we go, this would be one flat, two flats, three flats, four flats, five flats, six flats. We could go the other way and go like this and add six sharps, but we're band children, so we're more used to flats. So we go that way and we get down to G flat right there, which is six flats. Now, what are the flats? That, we go here for the order of flats. They're always in the same order. So we've got B, E, A, D, G, C, are our six flats. All right. So now I add those to my letter names down here at the bottom. B, E, A, D, G. This one was already flatted, and then there's another flat over here. And then the final one was C. So a lot of times I'll tell people on this scale, the only thing that's not flatted is F. Okay. So now I have letter names. Now i got to figure out Where's my starting pitch and how do I walk through that? So I'm gonna to go to the next page and we'll do some uh, key signature action. First we'll do treble clef people and percussionists will have you do treble clef with us. So straight line down, little loop at the top, big loop at the bottom, cute little tail like that. If you're a treble clef stinks, that's okay. Uh, and then again, the order of flats was up here on this page right there, B-E-A-D-G-C. We want that to go in order from left to right when we draw a key signature. B, E, A, D, G, C. Right. Again, so that order of flats is always the same. B, E, A, D, G, C. If there was an F, we'd go here, all right? Uh, so in order, left to right, got my key signature. Then I need my starting pitch. For flutes, we're going to start on this G flat up here and climb up. For oboe and percussion, we're going to start on that G flat and climb up. Obviously, percussionists could start in lots of different places. Then we need our uh, bass cleffers. Okay, so bassoon and low brassers, you draw your bass cleft by starting with that dot, swoosh around like this, and then a couple of dots like that. There's your bass cleft. And again, we want B, E, A, D, G, C in order from left to right. B, E, A, D, G, and C sits there. Okay, so that's my six flats in order from left to right. And then starting pitches, we'll go... Uh, we can start down here for uh, trombone uh, and euphonium and bassoon. It'd be good to learn this octave as well, so you're going up to high G flat, but the default will be there. And then we'll get some, I gotta get that out of the way. For tuba, we're gonna start an octave lower, so I have to draw one, two, three ledger lines and go below that third ledger line. That is a low G flat for your starting pitch. Okay, so we did key signature, we did starting pitch. Now, everybody goes to page three, and here's where you grab a fingering chart 
uh, for my example, I'm going to take it off of Schoology, but um, you might want to Google one because some of the Schoology ones are still sketch. Uh, so I go to, well, at the moment I'm going to Allegro Band. You'll get it from your own fingering charts and what I'm a flute player. So I grab this, do a quick screenshot, and then I go back over here, chuck that thing in there. And, you know, do the stretching it out thing that you're all better at than I am. And make it even better than that. And then I take my highlighter and I go to these letter names from this first page. This set of letter names right here is where I get my notes so I know what to highlight. Okay, so using those letter names, I find my first G flat, then the next note was A flat, then it was B flat, and then you'll notice it's C flat, but so this is a C natural, so that's not the right note. Um, so it's a half step lower. It's not labeled as C flat here, but it turns out it's a B. That could be a little confusing. Then it was D flat, then it was E flat, then it was F natural, and then it was G flat. I highlight those. So now I know letter names, I know fingerings, so I am fully set to turn this assignment in and to start practicing that scale and figure out how to play it. Good luck.